What's going on YouTube and welcome to another episode with PCP Savage Front Regulator on FX Impact M3 To delete or not delete that regulator? Should you delete or not? Why do you need that regulator? In which case do you you should delete it? And when you should keep that regulator? And also we're gonna run the test we're gonna run the test on the Chrono I'm going to shoot some shots, 10 shots, and record that on Chrono with regulator. And then we're going to swap uh, regulator bypass, put another bottle, and we're going to shoot 10 more shots without the front regulator. And we're going to compare two charts. Don't change the channel. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right. So why do you need um, front regulator? Well, simply is this. So let's say your bottle is um, 250 uh, bar. Um, second regulator, which is a final regulator, is um, set on, let's say, 80 bar, okay? The, 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 the spread between the bottle pressure and the, the, the final regulator, and the final regulator, it's so great that that regulator having hard time adjusting and getting your uh, pressure correct every time because there's so much pressure happening against that regulator so it's not doing so good of a job um, keeping that every shot consistent that's why FX in M3 added a uh, front regulator so let's say your bottle is 250 bar the first regulator drops to let's say 150 bar and then your final second regulator is 80 bar so the difference in between 150 and 80 not extreme um, least spread so that makes that final second regulator work better because it's more consistent when do you need the front regulator and when you don't need the front regulator okay so let's say it's a this is 30 caliber and let's say I'm shooting for example slugs and my final second regulator is set to let's say 130 or 140 or 150 bar okay so my bottle is 250 my second uh, final regulator is uh, 150 there's only a hundred bar gap in between the two pressures I think this regulator can handle fine you don't need this guy dropping it to 200 from 250 to 200 and then from 200 to 150 there's no point I mean it, it, it'll, it'll do just fine with one regulator. I would say the rule would be like this. If you're shooting 100 bar or above, you probably don't need the front regulator. And we're gonna do the test. We're gonna, we're gonna run the test right now because I'm shooting 100, um, 110 bar. My regulator is at 200 there. This is 30 caliber. I'm shooting pellets at 885 feet per second, okay? So I do believe that I don't need this regulator because this regulator is messing me up. Um, I'm gonna insert some video right here. All right, this is what happens when I pump the air into the cylinder. So this is my um, main regulator. And now let's look at my um, first stage regulator. There you go. Isn't that crazy? Sorry, forgot to mention, so this the first reg first regulator is set to um 170 bar and normally after when this happens with it after it settles after me shooting about um half of the bottle it goes down and comes back to 170 and stays at 170 then some fill ups when i fill up the bottle it stays at 170 it's fine but every other time it does this, it goes all the way to the same pressure as the, as the bottle pressure. So what's going to happen here is this. I'm going to pump the bottle to 250 bar, okay? 250 bar. The, the second regulator, the, my first regulator is set at 170. I'm going to shoot this gun. I'm going to shoot 10 shots. We're going to record on chrono. And then I'm going to remove the bottle we're gonna swap regulator with the bypass regulator bypass thing uh, valve 
we're gonna put another bottle that is also filled to 50 so our tests are exact you know in between the two tests so we're gonna put another bottle 250 bar with the bypass regulator bypass and we're gonna shoot we're not touching anything else on the gun we're gonna shoot 10 more shots through the chrono we're gonna get the numbers and then we're gonna compare side by side we're shooting 10 rounds with first first regulator 900 it likes to go up a little before it goes down 895 i don't know why it's climbing up 893 9 of 5, that's 5 shots, 893, 892, 899, that's what, 8 shots, 92. I'm swapping first regulator for the bypass. There's a bag, the part number ST0039, I think it's like 20, 25 dollars or something. So first we need to get a bottle removed. All right, now we need to degas in between first and second reg. So we unscrew that uh, second regulator gauge slowly till you start hearing air coming out. Check the gauges. The first reg is zero bar bottle zero the first um, also zero two mil there you go all right the guard trigger guard is out i would recommend getting a deep socket all right so i don't have deep enough socket so we're going to use this guy i heard from people that it's super tight others saying it's not we're going to find out right here right now Careful, don't bump your um, valve adjustment. Okay, so we're holding a gun and then cranking it. Eh, not bad, it, it went. All right, now we're installing the bypass. There you go, 110 on a second reg. All right, now we're gonna take this beast and we're gonna go shoot it. I guess I'm shooting 900 or maybe because of the temperature it's cooler in the house I don't know what changed but I was set at 885 when I was shooting at the shooting uh, at the range before 891 what shot is that 8 okay 904 896 and I promised the movie theater um, video so this is my basement in the basement i built myself a movie theater i built this myself everything double walled sound insulated so there's a wall space another wall this thing is soundproof you can shoot a firearm in here and probably not hear it so i have a big um 10 foot screen uh, of course hd projector reclinable chairs the full sound system right here sound panels did all that myself with my two hands, the left and the right hand. Some collection, and I know everything is digital nowadays, but guys, when you have that DVD and you're pulling the DVD out, come on, Star Wars, you have to have it, you have to have it. Pulling that DVD and loading in the DVD player, I mean, nothing, nothing is like that feeling. Um, PlayStation, Xbox, DVD player, uh, Denon, sound system, um, all the good stuff, my kid, plays um, a lot of games in here it's 8.3 surround sound this is my theater let's go back on the bench and review the results for regulator or no regulator all right my friends and here are the results I'm gonna put them on the screen right now the left if you see this the serious name the left 
is with first regulator. The, the sh screen on the uh, chart on the right hand side is without regulator. You see the minimum is, you know, very close. The max is the same exactly, 905. Okay, so I'm shooting around 895, I guess, and 899, uh, very close, four feet apart for the average. Um, extreme spread was 18 with the regulator and 14 without. You know, I like to see the extreme spread with the single digits, but it requires more fine tuning on the gun because I do mess with this gun so much and I do so many different adjustments on it. Um, I get close enough that it shoots well and you saw it shooting well, watch my other videos shooting. It does well. Uh, standard deviation 5.5 on with regulator and 4.2 without regulator. It does even better. I mean, look at the numbers on each shot. Everything looks legit. So, as I started this video saying that if you're shooting 100 bar or more on the second final regulator, you don't need first regulator because that gap between the full bottle pressure and the regulator pressure is, is all right. If you're shooting below 100, I would say 100, 110 would be cut off. If you shoot below 100, especially they, in Europe where they shoot the sub 12 uh, foot per square inch, 100% you need for us a first regulator to compensate for that such a big gap. Okay, so here are the results. I'm gonna keep it without the regulator. I'm gonna keep that first regulator in a Ziploc bag in my box of parts. That's what I have to say for this video. I mean, uh, it's for you to decide how you wanna go about your personal um, M3, but this is my decision and I'm not saying everyone should do what I do, but I, I have my own opinion on certain things. Now, new videos coming up. I have new, another M3 in works. We're gonna build another one. Surprise for everyone. Stay tuned for this video. Uh, coming up, I'm gonna announce it very soon uh, what, the, what direction we're gonna go with another M3, what we're gonna do with this one, and what's gonna happen to the new one. All right. Uh, more upgrades, more tunes. I got myself a new uh, air compressor, a big one. Oh, man, I'm filling up bottles in like uh, two and a half, three minutes. It's crazy, and the price is insane good. So I'm gonna, I wanna use it for a while and do the review and tell you more about it uh, when once I use it for a little bit, and then I'm gonna do another review after like a year or so, like a couple hundred refills. But for now, just just using it. So there's a lot of good stuff coming down the pike on this video, on this channel. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Post a comment, I'll be happy to chat with you, all right? And thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time.